Okay, so let me put myself a little smaller here. Okay, so we have the mega update, the indoor arena update for December, January, and February. This is a new thing I'm trying. So make sure you see my space and to make sure you see some interesting stuff that I've compiled over the past three months. And what we have. First things first, the AFL, they said they're coming back. F1 Sports and Entertainment, they bought the rights to the AFL in 2022 with Lee Hutton III as the commish. He's black, by the way, so you have a black commissioner in the AFL. First time that's happened. And then, you know, 16 teams, 10 games. 2024 is the projected start date for the AFL. Now, a lot of people, they don't seem you – know, this. a lot of people, you know, they're thinking – you know what? What's the end game here? You know, is is this real? Is this legit? And I can tell you, you know, it looks like it is. I mean, you got guys from the legendary arena fan doing interviews with with these cats. You you got you got other podcasts. You know, shout out to my boys Zach and Jim over at Inside the Walls. You know. They they are they are also pretty shocked. They are just as excited as I am, you know. Also, my boy Dukon, Arena Football Statement. He's also probably just as excited, you know. Uh, I've been reading some posts over the past few months about, you know, and I've been coming back to old comments and stuff like that about the AFL, about that video I made like a year ago, and I gotta tell you. Uh, I'm going to wait until they say more. That's all we can do right now is just wait until the AFL says more. All we know right now is that they're back. They're running their social medias. And, you know, teams like Iowa are getting mad, you know, for obvious reasons. In the indoor football league, yes, the Bismarck Bucks are right there. Um, Trying to fight Senate Bill 2214, you know, fight through that, try to get back to playing due to workers' comp issues. Uh, again, we know the IFL will run from March 17th through July 15th, with the playoffs coming right after that. So, you know, uh, the quarterfinals will be what, July 22nd weekend, then the Sibbies will be, uh, Cities will be July 29th, and then the championship, it looks like, will be on August the 5th. That's what I was able to gather for some reason. So there's that. And then there's a couple of rule changes. There were four of them, but the two big ones really are the deuce rule being added to the whole game and then the positive yardage rule eliminated it. And there's the map of the IFL. Notice that Quad City has a new logo. So, you know, Tulsa, the new team, Frisco, Iowa, Sioux Falls, Green Bay, Massachusetts, Duke City, Tucson, Arizona, Naz, Vegas, Bay Area, and San Diego. So in the NAL, the National Arena League, they're back, you know, seven teams instead of eight because the NAL and the Columbus Lions mutually agreed to part ways. There were multiple issues that have stemmed. Um, I'm not going to say all of them, and I'm not going to confirm all of them. But you know, you guys, you you guys have seen NAL fans, you know, were able to see and catch on. And really, you know, again, best source for that is to go again watch my boys Zach and Jim about the whole Columbus situation. Um, they know way more about it than what I do because, you know. They're, they're directly affiliated with the league, but I'm going to say because originally I had something completely different. You know, I, again, multiple, there's multiple reasons. So the NAL and Columbus decided to part ways. I'm not going to say any of the reasons here. Uh, both know what these reasons are that they that the Columbus Lions left. We'll talk about where they went. So April 8th through July 29th, the NAL will go with a... 14-game schedule, question mark, because some teams are playing 12 games, the others are playing 14. Um, the schedule is already in balance from the jump. 
you know, the first time they released it. So it being in balance again, it's not surprising at all. Disappointment. And there's the map. West Texas, not a new team, but they are new to this league. San Antonio, Orlando, Jacksonville, Carolina, and Albany return from last year. And then the Fayetteville Mustangs give it another go in Fayetteville. So the new team in Fayetteville is the only new expansion. In the CIF, you have preseason games that started now. That Rapid City game was absolutely disgusting for like the first uh, 20 minutes or so of that game. And I'm talking in terms of game time, not the actual game length. I'm talking in game time, that first 20 minutes or so, because Rapid City was only up like 12 to nothing. They did beat the brakes off their preseason opponents after that. But that first 20 minutes told us a lot. Disgusting. There's going to be another one tomorrow night. And then, you know, the actual games start. The real games that matter in the CAF will start. So from March 4th through May 27th is when the CAF will go. And the playoffs will have a six-team format yet again like they did last year. June the 3rd through June 17th. So the CIF will crown their champion very early, like usual. And then adjusted PAT rules have come to the league. Three-point plays to the five, four-point plays to the ten. At this point, I couldn't tell you about the Nets. The NAL has released photos of Nets. So uh, just I, we just saw a tweet today from Chris Siegfried about those Nets. And oh boy, they look good. They look gorgeous. But we'll talk more about them next week. Stuff like that. So there's the CIF teams. Notice that Topeka's back. Remember, we talked about this before. And there's Mal- Gillette's new logo. Yes, it looks absolutely disgusting. I don't like it. And everybody else is here. Southwest Kansas, Sioux City, Salina, Omaha, Rapid City, Billings. They're all here. All the boys are here. And in the AIFA, this is where Columbus went. Wichita Force, we don't know what happened to them. They are most likely dead. Memphis Beats are also most likely dead. They have disappeared from the league pages as well. And with crossover games from the AWFC, you know, the AIFA is going to have a long four months from March 18th through July 15th. And notice who we have in our eight-team AIFA this year. We have the Carolina Predators in here, you know, still the Capital City Cyclones. They changed the name again. I don't know what Alton Walker has got going on out in Tampa, but he's changed the team's name yet again. You know, the Columbus Lions, of course, Las Vegas, the Kings, you know, who don't have an arena. Um, the Mississippi Raiders, the South Florida Thunder. Yes, Avion Hill revived the South Florida Thunder. The Texas Pride. Now, there was a Dallas Outlaws, but we'll talk about a team who inherited that name in a moment, it seems. And then the Dallas Falcons, the Texas Pride again, though that's the team that's going to play out in Garland at the Curtis Colwell Center. And if and if I am able to go out there, I will go out there and see this disgusting this for myself from the Texas Pride. And the AAL's back, but they're calling themselves the AAL too. Uh, basically, it's a hiatus of nearly a year and a half to maybe two years that the AAL hasn't been here in our lives to mess things up. The original, the OG of messing things up. You know, just just truly, the AAL was truly the best. Instead, we got like three splitter leagues the last top couple of years that decided to mess things up on their own. And so, in any case, Enough of me rambling about a bunch of leagues that don't matter anymore. April 15th through June 10th is when the AAL will have it a go. Most teams are playing seven or eight games. Reading Raptors, they were supposed to be in this league. They got replaced by Steel City. It's basically the old MIFL, basically. You'll see when when you see this roster. Again, Georgia Linas in this league. You have the Houston Ballers based out of Pennsylvania. Got the Steel City Stampede right there, you know, and then the Jersey Bearcats over there. 
Also, you have the Maryland Eagles, the what, the Maryland Rage, or something like that. You know, the Maryland Warriors, the United Firepower, and the Cali Gold um, United Firepower. A lot of people seem to think they don't exist for some reason, but they exist. The Cali Gold is a travel team, so AL shenanigans already. Elite Indoor Football is also back. Trying to, they're trying to say they want to become legit. So, you know, they were like talking streaming partners and stuff like that. I've seen that on their site and stuff like that, you know, on their Facebook and on their website. But that quickly got shut down real quick. Um, you know, April 1st through June the 3rd, not a bad, you know, go. They might be the first to finish depending on when they hold their championship. Um, I have no idea what happened to the Southern Renegades because I don't see them on the EIF pages. And the Philadelphia Nighthawks, again, they're an expansion team. They won't come until 2024. There's also another AL expansion team, the Delaware Bull Sharks. I forgot to include them um, in this PowerPoint Google Slides thing. They're also in the league in the AL too, but they won't come until 2024. So there's our roster. Notice notice I had to add both the Kentucky Curses logo, and I hate calling them that, because it's because they used to be called the Kentucky Anna Curse. And then the South Florida Raptors, they their logo wasn't listed on the website, so I had to add it in. And of course, the other teams, you know, the usual suspects, the Southern Steve, the Space Ghost, Tar Heels, the Peach State Cats, Knoxville Nightmare, Atlanta Furious. You've, you've, you guys have seen these teams before. You guys know. But the AWFC, the American West Football Conference, is still alive as well. With the Tri-City Rush folding in November, the AWFC has three teams. And that means, basically, there's only you know four regular season games between these three teams. And with the season running from April 1st through July 1st, naturally, something had to give. And the AIFA stepped in. And there will be crossover games between the AIFA and the AWFC. There's also an AAL2 game in there. It originally was the AWFC was originally going to start on March 25th, but that got changed. So, in any case, I'm not sure. You know, I looked at the AAL schedule. It doesn't even look like the Cali Gold are even on. You know, but it says on the website that they're on there, so I included them in. So I don't know what's happening. Uh, in any case, Wenatchee Valley, Idaho, and Oregon are in the AWFC this year. The National Football Association somehow is back. You know, the Missouri Silverbacks, they were supposed to play this year. Then they got pushed back to 2024. You know, again, the NFA imploded last year. So I thought the sleep was not going to return. But they're still kicking with the following. The Illinois Raging Bulls. And there's two teams named with the name Raging Bulls. But the Illinois Raging Bulls, that's R-A-G-I-N. And then the Southland Raging Bulls, that's R-A-G-I-N-G. And then you have the Michigan Hurricanes, the Wenatchee. Uh, I mean, not the Wenatchee, the, the Westchester Apaches. I keep messing it up. And the Indianapolis Enforcers are back in the Central. The Illinois Royals basically should run this league. They should. Most legit organization here. And then you have the Arena League. This one is by, one of these is by Tim Brown. One of these hates kickers. The Tim Brown led league. And it will start in 2024. The other have their website seized due to not paying for it. And this Arena League has the usual suspects. You know, the Waco Tornadoes, the Dallas Outlaws. Again, remember, the Dallas Outlaws logo has been, you know, passed around like a hot potato. The Austin Wolves, the Panther City Predators. You know, and this TAL had a weird logo where the T looked like a 7. But they changed that. The Great Lakes Arena Alliance is another league, you know, that's happening this year. Um, basically, the West Michigan Ironman said, we need a league. We're going to play something, so we're going to make our own. And this is basically West Michigan's desire to have a true league that will start on March the 4th. 
I don't know how long it will be, but West Michigan has four home games scheduled. So we'll see how long the season goes. You know, with the Ohio Blitz, the Southern Michigan Apex, the Battle Creek Smoke, and the Chicago, probably soon to be Danville Power. Um, you know, Chicago's looking more and more, you know, like a West Michigan every single day with how they're doing things. But the other three teams. Cannot tell you anything about them, you know, because Battle Creek is completely new. Southern Michigan is completely new. Ohio was a team that had, you know, like a logo. We talked about their logo and stuff like that last year, I think. And I don't think anybody believed me, you know, about this Ohio Blitz team. But I remember seeing their logo, and it looked ugly last year, and it still looks ugly this year. And the AFA, remember, they died, so they're dead. So Wichita, you know, died at some point during the offseason. Magnolia State said they were dead. They they literally came out and said, hey, we are no longer playing. Of course, you know, Tri-City, they could not fight anymore. You know, they got kicked out of the arena, then they got their arena back, and then they, you know, folded. You know, fake control football, they're focusing on their hoops thing first, so they're going to push the football back. If I miss any other teams, I probably did. Just assume they're dead as well, because there's just no point in me talking about them. And then there's some teams looking for a new home, and guess who? Cedar Rapids. They're back. They said they want a home for 2024. I think I know where you can go, Cedar Rapids. You can go back home to the IFL. Then the ICT regulators, they removed all the CIF games for their schedule. Um, So basically, ICT is playing a schedule that's got a mid, but, you know, it is what it is. So in any case, that's it, you know, for realsies this time. And, yeah, I'm really excited. I hope this turned out okay. You know, I, I didn't expect, you know, what I expected with this, because again, this is totally brand new to me. I'm trying to do things like this. And yeah, I know I missed out on the XFL, USFL stuff, but um, I'll do that at a later date. Try to be more consistent, you know, truly busy a lot. So, you know, try to stay consistent with uploads and whatnot. So, uh, I'll get back to y'all when I get back to y'all. Y'all take care. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. Um, I'm going to try and win somebody this weekend, too.